This symbol of the man-child is the symbol of Christ. He is the only creature said to be able to gaze directly into the sun. What sun is he gazing into? The sun of the mighty I Am Presence, the Son of God, and the great central sun. Only the Christed One can look into the face of God and live. That is the mark and the identity of the seed of our father Abraham. The olive branch in the right talon indicates the rule of the Prince of Peace by the authority of Jehovah. Jehovah, the proper name for God, is taken from the Hebrew verb to be. Thus, Jehovah signifies that which was, is, and will be, or that which transcends time and space. I am that I am, as Sanat Kumara revealed himself to Moses. That was the dispensation for the twelve tribes who should establish peace in America, the promised land, through their realization of the Christ consciousness. And all of the tribulation in the forty years in the wilderness and the absence of peace was due to the fact that they were disobedient to God's laws and to their own lawgiver Moses. And therefore they did not attain the Christ consciousness and they could not survive. The failure of each of the covenants was the failure of the individual people to be disciplined sufficiently by the flame of freedom to become one inseparable union, one flaming light. All your danger is in discord, all your strength is in your union. This union is here and now the key to victory in America. And the Ascended Masters have taught us that union by a higher love, a higher freedom, a higher discipline, a higher vision, and the understanding of who I am. The 13 arrows in the left talon are the power of the defense of peace by the 12 tribes and the 13th. The 13 arrows show that we can only defend this nation when we stand as one. The 12 tribes become one, and the 13th are those who have the, the attainment of the Christ in the center of the circle as the white fire core of the nation. They stand with Christ as anointed ones and as the true shepherds. They arise from each of the 12 tribes as those who pass the initiations of the twelve hierarchies of the sun. Unless we are all one and serving together, we will not meet the enemy within or without. The United States is the union of souls of light. The first discipline is harmony and the understanding that we are one. <clears throat> The 13 five-pointed stars are arranged in a hexagram, or the six-pointed star that is the shield of David. The six-pointed star of David is the sign that the Christ flame will rise in this people as the threefold flame of the heart, the rising pyramid, and that the flame of Almighty God will descend into the chalice of that heart. That six-pointed star belongs to you. And the five-pointed star is the symbol of a man, the son of man, who comes initiating and being initiated in the five secret rays according to the law of Christhood. The frequent repetition of 13 in the symbolism placed in the seal and elsewhere by the founding fathers is their determination to remind us that we are the inheritors, that we are the 12 tribes and the 13th of Israel. The spirit of 76 is composed of digits which add up to 13. There are 13 pieces for the escutcheon or coat of arms, 13 arrows in the eagle's left talon, and the upper motto on the back, Anuit, Koiptes, God has smiled on our undertakings, has 13 letters. 
13 letters. E pluribus unum, one out of many, the motto on the front has 13 letters. There are 13 rows of masonry on the pyramid on the back. And because Americ was born July 4th, 1776, the sun in her natal chart is at the 13th degree of Cancer. Cancer conjoined with the fixed star Sirius, the focus of the Great White Brotherhood. Con this conjunction shows that this is the era when the Great White Brotherhood becomes physical and has its physical organization and physical focus upon Earth. On our natal day in 76, the god star Sirius was not at that 13 degrees. It has moved to almost that position now in this era. It becomes very clear that the movement of Sirius into that position shows the fulfillment, the reason for being of the founding of this nation in the sign of the mother because in this nation, the mother is to come, was and is to come, to call her children back to the divine memory of the Ancient of Days. The sign of the coming of the mother is the sign of fulfillment, of conclusion, of the millennial age, as we will soon see. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030, USA.